In this next lesson, what we're going to do is show how you can delete records from a table by running a script in T-SQL. So first of all, what I'm going to do is open up a file. Just before we get started, let me just show you, look at the names of these scripts. This one here that I just created uh, is called Delete From Customer Types. I could have named it Charlie Brown if I wanted, but if you're ever going to make SQL scripts and put them in the same place, give them intelligent names. Basically, the script should say what it does, and if if you really love life, what you'll do is you'll come up with a, a naming convention that will be easy to understand and read when you first look at it, if someone else looks at it, or when you look at it in six months from now. So just do yourself that favor. SQL Server could care less what you call it, and I mean, quite frankly, I could care less what you call it, but you may care what you call it in the future. So name it something logical. Okay, so here we go. We're going to connect. Now before I run this, I just want to show you, let's just do a select from the customer type table before we do anything else. I'm going to hit execute. By having this line highlighted, it'll ignore everything else. Okay, so now let's take a look at what's in this table. Uh, basically we have eight records and what we're going to be doing is del delete from customer types, this table, where this field CT visible is set to zero or really false because it's a bit type. Uh, so CT visible. These records at the end, these four, where it's set to zero or false, these records are going to go away. These clowns are going to go. The clone, the clown, the clown, clone, and the clone, clown. Okay. Yeah. Don't try to say that. Okay, so once we hit this, bam, there we go. And see what we did is we started with eight records, we're down to four, we got rid of the clowns and the clones of clowns, and I just can't help myself with that. But the way we did it is we said delete from, and then we named the table, and then we have our where clause, which filters it by any CT visible value that's equal to zero. So the only ones left over are the ones that are one or set to true. That's how you delete with a SQL script.